Lana Paria. Lana Paria. My name is Lana Parilla. Lana Paria. I'm Lana Paria. Two R's, two L's. You guys ready to keep rolling? Yeah? Well, our next guest has done the impossible. She has turned the evil queen into one of the most beloved characters on television. Please welcome Lana Paria! Trip coming up the steps. <laughs> Nobody saw but me. You didn't have to I out mean, yourself. They saw it. <laughs> um, first Good of morning. all, congratulations on creating what I think is one of the most iconic characters on television right now. I mean, Thank unbelievable you. job. Everyone here agrees. You guys agree, right? She's pretty badass. Did you have any idea when you signed on for once? that this would be your new life for the time being? <laughs> no, I was such the cynic, actually. I was, this is my seventh series. Um, so I had, you know, at that point I was like, okay, this show's gonna go six months and then get canceled, because that's what I was used to. Um, and because the concept was so unique, and, it, right. and, and sometimes these unique concepts just don't last on, on network television. So I was uh, quite surprised. I had no idea once upon a time was going to be this successful, and I am so grateful for it. But and yes. I was looking at this panel, going, "Oh my God, there's so many people here! I had no idea that, well, this would come out of the uh, show." Of Thank course. you all for being here. I mean, wow! Look at all of you. Over a hundred episodes. I want to Snapchat them. You can Snapchat Wait, just them. Just one second. I'm like on. I know. I don't even know if it's going to work because reception is so crappy right now, but. Um, I, I'm like on Snapchat and I just look at you. All right, guys, now's your chance. <laughs> I love you guys. Awesome. Okay, you're all, you're all part of my story. I love it. I love it. Well, I Done. hope you've been having a good time here in Seattle. <laughs> I'm Everyone's having a blast. super excited to talk to you. I when I was reading about, you know, sort of your preparations for the role, I came across this quote, and I'd love to kick off the panel by asking you about it. Please. You said, if I told you how I prepared to play the evil queen, I would probably get locked up in an insane asylum. So True. I would like you, <laughs> without the fear of any of us locking you up, I'd like you to expound a little bit on that, or however much you feel comfortable. Um, sure. Um, you know, this, as you all know, Regina is a quite dark, she's a dark character. Um, and, and I was concerned when I first got this job, I thought, oh my gosh, like if this is a huge hit, I'm gonna be trapped in this woman's head for years. And what's that gonna do to me? Um, I'm a real happy person. Like, I'm, I, you all know this, everyone that meets me says, she's not that evil. Um, <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'm a happy person. Um, I was concerned that her darkness would really bleed into my life and I would fall into a depression, which hasn't happened. But, it hasn't um, happened <laughs> and, sh and you've evolved the character past a lot of that. Yes, yes, and I, and I have to credit the writers because I, I was worried that she was going to remain evil all these years. I had no idea where she was headed, that she was going to evolve to the place, to the places she's evolved to. So I think that's helped keep me out of the insane asylum. <laughs> I, I think so too. Um, well, that's the thing about the show is it takes these beloved characters that we think we know, you know, history tells us we have this certain interpretation of us, of them and completely turns them on their heads. Yes. So as through the evolution of Regina, like how has that process been? What have you discovered and, and how have you influenced her portrayal? Um, it's, it's really a collaboration between uh, Eddie and Adam and myself. Um, they are such incredible writers. I, I really never have to call them for anything. Um, I think it just naturally took its to court, like took its place over time. Like 
I think that they didn't know that she was going to she was going to evolve to this place of being a hero. I think that you know it was a combination of what they've written, but also what I emote. And um, I always wanted to show a deeper, more conflicted, painful side to this character that I think opened a door to so many other stories. Evil, she says it. You know, she evil isn't. She says, oh "God, I'm going to." misquote my own character. Nope, someone knows it. Uh, evil isn't born, it's made. And, and I think that really helped in telling Regina's story. Well, absolutely.